a desperate attempt by residents to save a home from the surging sea. Days of pounding swell have wreaked havoc at Wombrell Beach. We lost the balcony five o'clock yesterday afternoon um, during the high tide um, and basically our property which is reasonably well protected from the front has slipped sideways into my next door neighbour's place. Four houses have been deemed critical by engineers. Concerns about the structural stability and safety forced evacuations. The beach and dunes have been strewn with debris. There are 20 sets of stairs floating around out there. There is asbestos being spewed into the water. Oh, what am I doing? <gasps> Even those wanting a closer look at the damage were today met with danger. The finger is being pointed at Central Coast Council. We're all so anxious and frightened and vulnerable and quite frankly angry that we've come to this situation which we knew was going to happen because the revetment wall wasn't built. The community today accused council of failing to access millions in government funding. We know that there needs to be a long-term solution and we want to try and work towards getting that. In terms of emergency works, we, we, we want to be back on the beach within a week, hopefully helping out the residents with some emergency work. We shouldn't be held totally responsible for saving 100 houses behind us. The destruction this week is not entirely unexpected. Wombrel was devastated by storms in 2016, but houses have been under threat since the 1970s. Beachfront homes collapsed here in 1978. John Meredith remembers it. A lot of people who were on holidays here or live here, we were down at the beachfront and filling sandbags. And as a long-time observer, he has his thoughts. Like the Bible says, build on the rock, not on the sand. An unstable situation and more sleepless nights ahead. Emma Simpkin, ABC News, Womberall.